Well, this quarantine has been tough for extroverts and those who love to network. Yeah, whether it's for professional or personal reasons, it is easier than ever to stay connected, at least virtually. Laura Schwartz is from Plymouth, Wisconsin, and is the former White House director of events. She's also the author of this book, Eat, Drink and Succeed. She has great ideas to stay connected. Hey, Laura, great to see you. Hey, Good Laura. To both of you. I'd rather see you in person in the studio, but for right now, this is a safe and great substitute. So thanks for having me. Hi, Wisconsin. Absolutely. And Wisconsin says hi back. Um, we just mm -hmm. mentioned that you were the White House Director of Events. You speak, I know, all over the world about the positive power of networking with your book, Eat, Drink, and Succeed. How can we continue to network, though, right now, especially when we can't even shake hands? Yeah, well, I got to tell you, I'm going to do a whole series on substitutes for shaking hands next week. Right now, we've got something called Eat, Drink, and Stay Connected, because right now, that's what we have to do. And, and a lot of it is going to be virtual. I'm going to show you a couple of ideas today. But I do believe we can not only stay connected, but perhaps even become more connected during this time. And, and I got to tell you, that's what it's about. When you talk about networking, I talk about it in the way that networking is finding out what you can do for someone else. Not what they can do for you, but what you can do for them. And I think right now, staying connected to others is the best thing we can do for each other. I love that. I love that it's about what you give, not what you get. And so one of your first tips I want to get right into, because it's one of our favorites for sure. And this is about happy hours. We hear about them and, and it's something that we all enjoy doing and we've done virtually with a lot of friends. But how do we put a twist on it? Well, I got to tell you, you know, we start doing virtual happy hours all together, my friends and I. And, and all we do is we, we all get on. We already have our drink poured and we get right into the gossip. And man, it was just a lot of drinking. So I came up with a bit of an idea, gave it a little twist. And I asked everybody, listen, send your recipe for a signature cocktail before we do this happy hour. And then when we all get on, let's start in the kitchen or wherever the bar might be and let's make it together. And everybody kind of teaches everybody a new cocktail. So we've had a really good time doing that. Me, I'm all about the dirty martini. And so the other night I got my big uh, tin shaker out because man, this keeps things really cold. And my twist in the martini, I gave all of them an assignment beforehand was to get their olives, because you know, we're not going to the store a ton these days, which is good, but I've got a huge batch of Costco olives. I take the pimento out and then I stuff it with whatever cheese I have. Now we had some blue cheese around the house. So freshly stuffed blue cheese olives. So even in quarantine, you can have a great dirty martini and just put your own twist on it and show others and uh, you kind of improvise together. And then you get down to the gossip. Love it. I think this is fantastic. What about something fun for the kids, switching from martinis to something that we can bring to our little people? Yeah, I got I got to take it down a notch for my godchildren. And uh, I try to, you know, do the alcohol afterwards. So I schedule happy hours like around 839. I get them to bed maybe <laughs> around 738. I've been downloading Golden Books on Kindle and then sending the link prepaid to my godchildren so they can just go in with their parents, click it, open it up. And the other night we did the pokey little puppy and it was just great to set up FaceTime and actually read it to them. And you could either hold the, you know, hold the book up and they can see the, the, the same, you know, pictures you are describing or they've got it right there on their laps too. So it's a great way to stay connected. And I got to tell you, I don't know if the bedtime story is more for them or it's more for me because I often sleep really well after that. That's really cute. I love that idea. Let's talk offices, though, because most people right now are, are online and that's really how they're communicating with their coworkers, you know, more than yeah. ever. And so how do we continue to network and use this time to, to team build when we're separate? You know, it's funny, we're all on those Zoom calls. Saturday Night Live did a great skit on the Zoom meeting last weekend, uh, which really is the epitome of it. You know, you all get on and you can do the take your dog to work day, things like that. But you know, great ideas come around a campfire. And I was thinking about this and I, I saw some buzz about it. And back in Wisconsin in Plymouth, we call my parents' house Camp Willowbrook for where they live. And we sleep down in the basement and have a ride. We've always loved Camp Willowbrook. Well, there's a way to bring camp to the Zoom. I'm doing campfires with people on Zoom. <laughs> All you gotta do is you get yourself your votive candle. Now I suggest a votive candle or a candle that has no scent because then you take your mini marshmallows, 
you put them on a little swizzle stick, which I happen to have around from virtual happy hours, and then you just <laughs> go ahead and you roast your marshmallow. That is hilarious. And as Cute. you roast the marshmallow, see, check it out. It's just like the campfire. You take your, uh, your chocolate. Now, I don't have any graham crackers at home because, again, we're staying safe. We're not going to the store every day that we need something. So I have a really good little honey wheat Ritz cracker. I have no <laughs> idea where they came from that they were here. So then I took my, my random chocolate. I got my, my marshmallows. I'm good to go. You can all do this at the same time at your different Zoom locations. Have a little fun and come up with some creative ideas. And you know what? I think the sugar really helps. The yeah. sugar. Oh, helps. for sure. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, we love that. And hello to the Schwartz's in Plymouth, too. We love that <laughs> at camp. Yes, a big uh, shout fun. out to your parents. Thank you. And hey, want to talk about staying in touch with parents? Yeah, you're, I love your suggestion about that. It's a handwritten letter in the mail rather than text yeah. and all this virtual stuff. I've sent, I've sent fun things. I've sent goofy looking socks. I've sent really beautiful letters. It, it's just been a great time to just reflect on life and how much you love your parents. And there is nothing more right now than I'd love to just be up in Plymouth with them. But, you know, I'm so lucky. They've got uh, Roxy and George across the street. Mike, who's like a brother to us, Roxy's son. He's getting all the groceries. And, you know, I'm just so grateful for the community that is Wisconsin. So. Thank you so much for joining us today. We so appreciate your time. Thank you. Love, Love you all. Love you, Mom and Dad. Hi, Laura's parents. For more information about Laura, her great book, Eat, Drink, and Succeed, LauraSchwartzLive.com.